baseball and opera are both ensemble performances. One person doing well can lift the whole performance. On the surface, you might think, who's farther apart than artists and athletes? And yet, in fact, they have a lot in common. You're alone on stage a little bit, I imagine, in the opera, and then you got a cast that you got to deal with. Same thing with baseball. You're alone in the batter's box, but it is a team game. I started to think, wouldn't it be great to get these students together to see what the other is doing, to compare, to see the connections, and to learn from each other. I think that they both take a lot of dedication, passion, commitment, and practice. In opera and in baseball, the preparation is the biggest thing. It goes a lot into what you do weeks and months prior to when you actually compete or perform. Sing here the cat in nine tails and the top. It's the immense pressure that you can create either for yourself or depending on the situation to always be performing at your absolute best. Confidence is a huge obstacle. It really affects your performance, so you have to be really self-assured. Being at the opera last time I noticed that rehearsal there was a lot of stop and go, but the reason for that was because if one person messed up, they had to stop over and redo it. It's just like baseball practice. They work very hard. They work just as hard as we do and they're just as passionate about what they do as what we are. I told her, I said, that was the best national anthem we've had by a landslide. That was incredible. <laughs> It's been fascinating to watch this program unfold because these two groups have this commitment to an art form and they bring all of that passion to the university in addition to what they contribute as students. It's an opportunity to celebrate what each of these groups of students is doing to engage not only the university but our larger community in the state on a different level. There's a lot of people doing different things that you know, we need to open up our eyes and appreciate. Because you never know what might spark.